Last time I was at this PetSmart behind me here in Nashville, I was very disappointed in the quality of the fish and just the general uh, condition of the tanks. But it's always been my theory that it has a lot to do with the manager, whoever is running the department, and that's really what determines uh, the condition of the uh, aquatic section of the store. So let's go inside this store and see if, uh, if they've cleaned things up since the last time I was here. Let's take a look inside. PetSmarts in general seem to be pretty well stocked when it comes to supplies, and this one was uh, really no different. The shelves were uh, orderly, and uh, they seem to have a, uh, a wide selection of anything you might need to take care of your aquarium. That's usually not an issue, and really one of the things that I consider a big plus point with these big box stores is if you need something in a rush, a med, uh, some food, a light blows out, uh, or you absolutely have to have a piece of uh, SpongeBob SquarePants decor, you can usually find it. I was impressed when I walked in because they had two people working in their aquatic section. It's a small aquatic section compared to a lot of the PetSmarts, but what I found this time was much better than the first time that I came in here. The tanks appear to be clean, the fish healthy. I didn't see any fish that were uh, in real bad shape. Their stock was a bit low and of course we're having supply chain issues in a variety of industries and I'm sure I'm sure their ability to access fish probably isn't as good as it was three or four years ago. But the fish that they did have uh, seemed uh, active and interacting well and I didn't see the usual you know, upside down dead fish that you can see from time to time in these stores. Well they didn't have any fish that I'm interested in currently but the fish that they did have were in pretty good shape. Tanks were cleaner than they were before and the fish were healthier than before. So uh, this this uh, PetSmart here it goes from uh, from three stars to four stars as far as pet smarts go. I'm gonna go across the street to Petco. It's been my go-to for the uh, big box stores in the area. Let's see how they're doing, because uh, they were on top. Let's see if they're still on top. When I first got to Nashville, some of you'll recall in prior videos, this was my go-to uh, Petco, was my big box store go-to. So I picked up a few of my initial tanks, the 255 gallons, a couple of the 29s, and they had a pretty good selection and a pretty clean, well-stocked uh, fish area. Let's go and take a look and see how they're doing now. It's been almost two years. Like PetSmart, uh, Petco does carry a wide range of supplies, but I did notice that there were more gaps on the shelves than there were over at the PetSmart. Even in the frozen section, there were some empty containers. Maybe I caught them you know, a day before uh, their delivery date or something like that but again I know there are supply chain issues. Uh, this aisle seemed pretty well stocked and again if you need uh, a filter cartridge or some meds or anything like that you can find them here. They carry the uh, She Say Whale 189 as well as some of the Sarah products. I think that's that's uh, that's pretty cool for Petco and uh, See here, Fluval 349 for uh, this FX4. That used to be the price for the FX6. So again, we're seeing uh, some inflation. The tanks were in pretty good shape with a, um, what can only be described in, in my opinion as a bit more exotic uh, selection of fish. Even though some of the fish I was uh, perhaps most interested in were, were sold out at the moment. But as you can see, they do have some, some fish here that were not available at the other store, including one of my favorites here, the Firemouth. The very popular Yellow Labs. Very cool fish, used to have one once. One of my favorites. They had albino and tiger Oscars labeled, but uh, that's certainly not a uh, albino Oscar right there. Just like uh, in the other store, one lo a lonely clown loach for 
if you buy clown loaches, buy them in groups of three to five or more. They do get very large, but they do grow very slowly. Very nice little bala sharks. The prices on fish are uh, very, very uh, fair. Three forty-nine for giant danios, but you'll find that at both Petco and PetSmart, they tend to run even or a bit lower than some of the local fish stores, and that's understandable since they buy in massive bulk. Roseline sharks, again, a fish that I would have liked to have seen, but we have an empty tank. I'm going to visit this store again and see if I was just between uh, shipment dates. The good looking Tetra. Overall, these tanks are in really, really good shape and the fish look real good. Another good looking Petra, Tetra here at a fair price. I think the selection here, even though some of the tanks are are empty, they still have what I would consider a better overall selection and some fish that are a little bit a little bit harder to get a hold of. Well, they tease me with uh, with some of those labels. Some of those labels are fish that I'm actually looking for, but overall, I still think this Petco is a little bit superior to the PetSmart in its selection and overall quality of the fish. The um, Firemouth did have a little bit of uh, a fin rot, I think, or at least maybe they're, they're picking at each other, you know, maybe nipping, but otherwise the fish were in good shape. And so I'd give, uh, I don't know, what did I give the uh, PetSmart for three? three stars out of five, I'd give these guys maybe three and a half as far as big box stores go. So I really think the difference is management. You know, kudos to uh, PetSmart for, for cleaning up their act. And I'd actually consider buying a fish there. This Petco here, I wouldn't hesitate buying a fish. I think they're, they take pretty good care of them. All right, so there's the comparison of my two local big box stores after a couple years. And uh, that's it for me. Hope to see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And if you'd like to support the channel, give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you, my friends. See you again soon. Bye-bye.